so today I'm going to be doing a video on feather hair extensions. I've been holding off to do this video for a little bit because I want to make sure that I give you all the accurate information on them and also I've been like testing them throughout the week just to make sure they hold up and what not to do and what to do and everything about them. But if you'd like to see more about these, just keep watching. Alright, to start off this video, I'm going to show you what I have that was sent with the feather extensions that I got. Um, okay. Came with this bag of hair tools and micro beads. So here's the little beads that it came with. And then... This was in there too. This is what you use to apply them. It's like a little wire hook on this wooden post. And it came with five feathers. And I have one in right now, right in my hair. If you can see it. It's a pink one. And it came with another pink one. Two turquoise ones. And a purple one. I'll have pictures of all of these at the end of the video if you want to check them out. So a set of five feather extensions is going to run you $18.95. I got a variety of colors, but usually they sell them in like pink and black, turquoise and black, or purple and black. Like all five feathers are going to be the same usually. But what I got was the turquoise, pink, and blue. No, turquoise, pink, and purple feathers all for $18.95. The website I got my extensions off of is featheraccents.com. They are just a website online where they specialize in like any kind of feathers for your hair. Mainly they're rooster feathers, which are I think the best feather you can put in your hair. But they're really good quality and I really want to show you the kinds I got because they're like different. They're not the normal feathers you see. They're like different. They're kind of striped and they're called grizzly feathers. I think they're really cute and they look really cool in your hair because they just add a little effect that normally isn't. So to give you an up close view of a feather, this is one of the pink ones. It's just a striped feather and it's pretty soft. You can feel that it's a good quality feather and you can like pull on it and it doesn't break or anything so it's good. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to apply them. What you're going to need is your feather, a microbead that it comes with, and then this wire attachment thing, whatever it's called, I don't know what it's called, and pliers. That's all you're going to need to apply your feather hair extension. Oh, and maybe a hairbrush. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is grab the section of your hair where you want to put your feather. I already have this pink one in right here and I just want to put the turquoise one next to it. So I'm going to grab... Alright, so I've got my piece of hair right here. Now what you want to do is just hold your feather up to your piece of hair and see how it's going to look. So that's how mine's going to be and it, I think it looks pretty good. Put this Put the micro bead onto the hook, so slip it onto the threading hook, and then pull it down. So now you have your bead on there. Now you want to open up the threading hook and put your hair through it. So this is the point where your hairbrush might come in handy. Just let the hook stay like that, and then just brush through that hair to make sure it's come through. Okay, take this. And you can see that it's hooked right there. Next, you just want to push the hook up through your hair. Push it to the very top of the hair like this. Just hold that right there and then get your feather. So I have my feather and then stick it through the microbead. So there, it's inside of the microbead. Hold that there. Take your pliers and just squeeze it a little bit. You don't want to close it all the way because that threading hook is still right there, but just clamp it down a little bit. And then you're going to pull the threading hook out. So what you do is just hold on to the bead, make sure it's pulled all the way up to where you want to put it in. 
and then push up like this. And your hair should start to slip out of the threading hook. So that's where it just, I could feel it pulling out and then it's going to pull the hair out through and you can see it's pulling my hair with it and there, let go and there's your feather. So you can see that the feather is in now, it's really cute and you just want to hide the little micro beads with your hair. There's my feather, I think it looks really good. So in case my um, description of how to install the feather hair extensions wasn't enough to help you do it, you can also look on the Feather Accents website and they have a whole step-by-step um, -step way that you can that you can put in your feather hair extensions. I have it printed out but I'm not going to read it to you just because you can go on their website which is featheraccents.com and check it out. A tip they said on the website is that you don't want to put too much hair into the um, threading hook. I found out what this was called, it's called a threading hook. Um, you don't want to put too much hair into this because you have to fit um, your feather in with it as well. And then to close the micro beads, so you have to make sure that you only grab a certain amount of hair. They recommended that you only grab about one fourth an inch of hair and make sure it's really close to your scalp. So a generally asked question is how do I remove the feathers? To remove them you would just simply take your pliers and then get your micro bead and towards the opposite way that you squeeze it closed you're just going to squeeze it open and it should open right up and then just pull your feather out and pull the micro bead out and then your hair is back to normal. A little about the company is like I said they're called featheraccents.com which is where I got them and I got this bag of five feathers. And then along with the five feathers, you're getting the tools to apply them, which is the threading hook and the micro beads. You have to have pliers yourself. They don't give you pliers with them, but that's not something hard to get. The names of the feathers that I have are called, that I got, the turquoise purple and pink grizzly feathers. The choice of if you don't want to buy like real rooster feathers, you can get synthetic hair feathers. Um, which are just obviously not real feathers and they're like, they work the same way as these feathers would, but they're just synthetic. Also, all the feathers are different sizes and shapes. This pink one right here is pretty skinny. It's a little skinnier than the turquoise one I put in. The turquoise one is actually pretty thick. It's really thick up towards the top and then it fades to the length of this one. Um, also, some little tips that I could give you on maintaining the, um, the look of your feather extensions is to make sure that when you're combing your hair, like let me get my hair brush, um, don't pull on the micro bead itself because it will probably fall out if you brush hard enough. Just carefully brush through them, um, just be gentle with them, you don't want to pull on them too hard. And also, like, washing your hair in the shower. Don't be rough with them. Be really careful with the micro beads to make sure that they don't fall out. With hairspray, you don't want to uh, put too much hairspray on them because they'll get really stiff just like normal hair. And um, when you're curling them, try not to have your um, straightener or curling iron on the highest setting. You just want to keep it on like a moderate setting just so you don't overheat the feathers or anything. Um, so those are just some tips that I have for you about the feathers. So I hope you girls enjoyed this video. Um, it's pretty easy the whole aspect of putting in and taking out feather hair extensions and they just add a little like effect to your hair. Make sure you check out their website featheraccents.com. We'll have all the information down below along with prices and their website link, anything about them. Um, that's about all I have to tell you about these feathers. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this video, and I can't wait to see you girls in my next video.